Okay, how does club soccer fit into the picture? See, we have several levels. We have rec and then travel and then club. And then there's even higher levels within the club all before we get to high school soccer. What I've seen from experience is that if players are gonna be successful at the high school level, they, they really need to have club soccer experience under their belt, preferably a few years of that. Because of the training, the competition level, and um, just the speed of play, especially as they get into 13 and 14. So my recommendation is always this, that at six, seven, and eight years old, players are still trying to figure out, is soccer one of the games that I'm gonna like and I wanna be good at? And I'm gonna try a whole bunch of other things. And for that, travel soccer is a great introduction and the perfect way to get into playing a little bit of competitive soccer and getting some training above the rec level. But once a player reaches the, the stage where they say, soccer is the game I wanna be good at, how can I be good at this? Then we absolutely need to add club soccer into the player's development. I believe at U10, U11, U12, my experience is that players should be playing both club soccer and travel soccer with about an equal mix in terms of the priority because more touches playing more each week really helps the development plus playing with different people hearing different voices from different coaches different speeds of play different competitive levels is all really really good it's really great when they get to about u12 and their club soccer is a really fast competitive speed and then their travel soccer maybe is a little bit more lighthearted and not quite as tough competition there's things that can be learned in that environment too now as you get to u13 u14 then i think the priority really starts to become club and less on travel and we're going to try to find ways to have our kids still stay connected to each other because that's really important to develop friendships and camaraderie and relationships but the, the club soccer will start to take the priority as travel increases and costs increase and time increases at U13 and U14. But for U10, U11, U12, my recommendation is for every kid to try to play both of those things if he can. That's what's going to help to provide a high level training and stay connected with the people at my school that I'm playing with so that we have freshmen entering into high school coming in where we have 10, 11, 12 kids that have played club and have played together for a long time. At Kenston High School this year, we have about nine seniors who've been playing together since they were eight or nine years old and almost all of them have played club and it's great. We're going to win because this formula has been set up. These are our two priorities to have great training, high level of competition, as well as staying connected with my friends at Kenston so that I enjoy my time together with them.